What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. It's free general collective reading for all signs, caps, suicide, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, apply everyone has free will. Only take the messages to resonate. Free general collective reading for all signs. Love you guys so much. Uh, we're at 13,175 subscribers. So, if you think anyone else would like my channel or benefit from it, please feel free to share my channel very publicly on social media and word of mouth. I very, very much appreciate it. Love you guys so very much. Um, I received another channeling. Hopefully this last one. I don't know. We'll see. Um, we're at 6.15 p.m. We're still going, so we'll see. Okay. I love you guys so much. If you'd like to donate to High Priestess Tarot 5, the link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash out, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to donate. Okay, so the channeling I heard was a Libra feminine that has free willingly got them, gotten themselves in a third party situation with the Scorpio masculine and a Pisces feminine. I heard she's the third wheel. I heard that specifically. She's the third wheel. Um, I heard um, is trying to separate herself from them. However, through many series of chain of events, what she doesn't know is the Pisces feminine has put a binding spell on her. And it's about to seriously backfire in many negative ways for all three of them. So you plug it in how it resonates. Um, um, all dark side beings. All, every single one of them. It's about to backfire on all three of these in, in huge negative ways. Okay. I heard all dark side beings. Every single one of them. And it's about to backfire on them in huge negative ways. All three of them. So they're in a three-piece, basically. They're in a three-piece. I heard the Libra Femme is the third wheel. So she's the third wheel, and it's the Scorpio. I mean, you guys might be this story, or you just might be interested in this story, or you might know these people in the story. I don't know you guys. It's not me. So you plug it in how it resonates. I'm pulling it in for a reason. So I think these crazy wackadoos might watch my channel, or you got my guys might know these crazy wackadoos. You plug them in how they resonate. But it's a three-piece going on, baby. There's a three-piece. Um, I'm just a single woman delivering the channel messages. I ain't in no three-piece, nor do, would I ever consent to that. And that's just the truth. But these people consented. Um, but these are all dark side individuals, I heard. So you plug it in how it resonates. Um, okay, so we've got a, uh, all three dark sides. So one warlock and two witches, basically. And I mean true dark side, spiritualist, dark side demonic entity which is here i mean truly we're not talking about fun kitchen witch fun uh garden witch energy we're talking about true dark side wishing harm and ill upon other people energy and i'm just being for real uh all three of them okay scorpio masculine 30s and 40s 30s and 40s and by the way these are psychic intuitive prophetic messages just a letter right now one message may apply, two may apply, two plus may apply, none may apply. Only, only you know your situation story, not anybody else. Okay, so we got a Scorpio masculine, warlock, Pisces femme, dark side, spirit, uh, dark side, evil entity, witch. And I, I mean, I don't know how else to say it. Uh, true, true, true. Like wishes harm upon people kind of energy. And I, I mean, I don't like using the term witch. Y'all know I don't. But she is a dark side spiritualist, for real, for real. Like, wishes harm and ill upon other people. And that's true dark side. They're in a couple. For some, they could be married. I didn't hear they were married, but they may be. If they're not, they're in a committed relationship. But they have free willingly put on a third third wheel. And this person knows she's the third wheel. Uh, now, I heard 30s and 40s. So, you have to plug these people in, how they resonate. I think these people are 30s and 40s, or maybe you guys are 30s and 40s that know these people. How that resonate? I think these people are in their 30s or 40s, and this person is in their 30s and 40s. Whoever these people are and how they apply, and maybe for some of you guys, you're in your 30s and 40s, and you know these people. It's a Scorpio masculine, dark side warlock, Pisces femme, uh, dark side spiritless, wisher of harm upon other people. Um, 30s and 40s, or 30s or 40s, or you plug it in how it resonates. Libra feminine, third wheel, knowingly, free willingly, the third wheel. I think she likes to get it in with these people. 
She loves to party. She loves to get it in. She loves to woo, 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 sex them all night long. 30s or 40s. You plug it in how it resonates. I heard this person is trying to detach from the three-piece. She's trying to detach from the three-piece. I mean, she loved it there. Or she loved it there. I'll tell you that. She loved it there, but now she'll love it there no more for some reason. So now she wants to detach. But I heard the Pisces femme, dark, 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 demonic entity person over here, has put a binding spell on her. But the Libra femme doesn't know she did. It's about to backfire. I heard on all three of them. In a huge ass way. In a huge ass way. Oh my God. So, um, Chickadoo over here, either in her 30s or 40s, put a binding spell on Chickadoo. The binding spell is about to backfire, meaning ah, 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 ah. um, or well, it can either backfire that way or it can backfire another way. I think it's going to backfire this way, meaning it's going to pull her closer in, is what I'm feeling. Uh, but you plug it in, how it resonates there, you guys. I think you guys know these this crazy. I think they do swingers swinger parties together. I didn't hear they did. But they're very sexual. They all know each other sexually. They all love it, love it there sexually, or they did love it there sexually. But this person's trying to get out of it. Um, there's a reason she's trying to get out of it. Her is about to backfire in a huge way. Okay, let's see. A strange discharge coming from one of these people's private areas is about to become very, very, very significant. And one of these people is about to be in a lawsuit regarding transmission of HIV. Oh my God, whoa! So you plug it in, how it ew! So at least one of these people has HIV, I'll tell you that. And one has an STD. I heard strange discharge from their private area. So somebody's got an STD, and I'm just being for real. Somebody's got an STD, and one's got HIV. So one of these people is about to be in the middle of a lawsuit regarding transmission of HIV, I heard. And one has a strange current, sounds like current energetic space, a, current, a strange discharge coming from their private area. So meaning they've got an STD, whether it's, the warlock or the dark side spiritualist people that likes to free willingly place entities upon themselves um, to conjure up strange shit, like a binding spell. You plug it in, how it resonates. Oh, dear God Almighty. That's gross. So one of them's about to be in a lawsuit regarding transmission of HIV and one got a current STD. And all three of these are about to be in a huge, huge, huge lawsuit soon. Huge lawsuit. Regarding harming a psychic and her family in the past. And all three of these are about to be in a um, huge, huge, huge lawsuit regarding harming a psychic and her family in the past. So that could be one of the ways the backfiring, um, I mean, sorry, the binding spell is about to um, backfire too. Um, they're all three going to be in a lawsuit regarding the um, harming the psychic and her family in the past. That's one way uh, because it's about to backfire. I Meaning she wants to get out, but the fighting spell is about to boomerang her back is what I'm feeling. So to me, that's one way it's about to backfire. The other way could be maybe they're all in the lawsuit regarding the transmission of HIV. Maybe they all have HIV. I didn't hear they all did, but they may. At least one does. That could be another. Another way it could be somebody's got an std in here so maybe they give it to all of them and they all are binded together from this std uh because they're all sexually know each other and that's just true oh this is so toxic this is so toxic
spirit messages you have with like it. Hostilities. Number 26 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 26 could be a possible age of one of these people or, or your age or any other significant number in one's life. Number 26, hostilities. And there's about to be significant fights between children of these people very soon. One, it will be a fist fight. Oh my God. And there's about to be significant fights of children between these people soon. And for one of the, um, one of these situations, it's going to be a fist fight. So a physical altercation. Oh my God. Knocking it to your bucket like kid style. Oh my God. <laughs> Yikes, don't, that's why I don't have friends because um, I love my kids too much. I want them around healthy individuals and whoever these people are, they're not healthy. They're not healthy, um, not at all. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So nugget to your bucket, physical altercation style energy here in one situation. And one, it's just, I think, verbal altercations between the children. But maybe, I mean, I don't know if these people have kids together or they have separate kids or maybe this person has a kid or kids. Somebody's got a lot of youngins up in here. And altercations between children, one of these situations is going to be a physical altercation. So hostilities between children in this aspect, which might bring hostilities uh, among the kids. I mean, I'm sorry, among the adults. Wow. I mean, you plug it in, how it resonates. This is terrible. And the police is about to be involved. And one of these people is already under investigation. And they're about to be under another investigation soon. And the police is about to get involved. And one of these people is under a heavy investigation. And they're about to be under another heavy investigation. So, my God. So, hostilities, investigation energy. But I don't think it's going to go well. It sounds like... Um, it is not going to go well at all. At all, at all. It is not going to go well at all, at all, at all. And a Taurus is about to completely separate themselves from this situation. Know this. Completely. Hot mess express. And a Taurus is about to completely separate themselves from this situation. Hot mess express. And it, somehow there's a Taurus involved in this situation. And I heard they're about to completely separate them from themselves. Hot mess express. So it sounds like this is a high vibrational Taurus. Uh, whoever you are, Taurus, um, I think you're highly intuitive and you've already sensed this is a hot mess express because it really, really is. Um, or you're about to. But how that resonates, you're about to separate yourself from this three piece, from all this bickering and arguing between kids and adults and shared body fluids and what have you, what have you. And you're about to completely just separate yourself. Yeah, this is sick. I'm serious. This is sick. And I heard they're all three on the dark side. So I think they all practice dark arts. And I'm serious. One of these people is already under an investigation in some shape, form, or fashion. They're about to be under another one. And I heard it's not going to go well for them. We've got somebody with police about to get involved in this situation. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. And one of these people's sister is about to get fired. And they are about to come with the wrath of God. Know this. Oh my God. And one of these people's sisters is about to get fired, I heard. So terminated. I don't know if it's a wrongful termination or rightful termination. I'm not sure. But one of these people has a sister. Um, and they're currently in the workforce, in the current workforce space. I heard they're about to get terminated, and um, I heard when they do, they're about to be hostile towards the person. Um, I think um, how that resonates. Um, I think this person had something to do with it, or this sister thinks this person had something to do with it. However, that resonates, but the sister is about to come hostile towards this situation. I'm not sure whose sister it is. I don't know if it's Scorpio masculine, the Pisces fam, or the Libra fam. 
Somebody's sister is about to get terminated and they're about to blame them, basically. They're about to be hostile, and, uh, hopefully not physically aggressive. She is about to come with fire and not going to mess around. She's about to come with fire and not going to mess around. I don't, I don't know if it's physical fire or fire inside of her, like fire sign energy. I, I mean, I don't know if she's fire sign or she's just going to exert fire sign energy, but she is coming with a fire. I don't think it's physical fire. I think it's fiery. Um, and she could be any sign. I didn't hear a sign on her, but definite fire sign energy exerting fire energy. Whatever sign she is, that she is going to exert fire sign energy with hostility towards whichever sibling she has here whether it's the scorpio masculine the pisces femme or the libra femme you plug it in how it resonates oh my god And a significant call from a Libra masculine lawyer is about to be detrimental to one of these people as well. Detrimental. And a significant call from a Libra masculine lawyer is about to become detrimental to one of these people as well. So some kind of call from a Libra masculine lawyer is about to become detrimental to one of, the, one of these people as well. So I think it's going to be hostility energy or conflictual energy or some kind of not not nice energy uh, regarding this call from this Libra masculine lawyer. Whoever this person, one of these people is about to get a call from a Libra masculine lawyer. Whether it's Scorpio masculine, Pisces femme, or Libra femme. One of them. And it's not going to be pleasant communication. Um, you could be the Libra masculine lawyer about to call one of these people. You plug it in how it resonates, but I think um, it's going to be conflictual energy. Um, I heard these people are not going to hear, like to hear what you're going to say, sir. So whoever you are and how this applies, Libra, masculine, lawyer, you could have Libra in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or feminine, and Jupiter charts. I feel one of you guys might be the Libra, masculine lawyer that watches my videos and you're about to make this phone call possibly. You plug it in, how it resonates. Wow. The shit's about to hit the fan with this three piece. These people are in it for the long haul, whether they want to be or not. Now. Oh my God, shit's about to hit the fan for this three piece. They're about to be in it for the long haul, long haul, whether they want it to want it to be or not. Through many, 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 many series of chain events. Many. Through basically a shit ton of series of chain events. So these people, they loved it there, but now this one wants to break away. But confirmation from fabulous but she wants to break away this one put a binding spell on her but she didn't tell her she did it's about to backfire in all these ways and i heard so they loved it there at one point now this one don't love it there and she wants to go away but it's about to go right in her back through all these series of chain events that are about to be created in the universe um wow and um yeah so it sounds like that this this is how it's sounding like it's about to play out with the binding spell about the backfire is what I'm thinking here. Um, because all this is about the upcoming in the universe. The Libra masculine court lawyer call, the sister about to get terminated of one of these people come in hostile, um, not hostile, but I think fiery energy. Hopefully she doesn't knock it to you, Bucket, ma'am. If you are that, this person about to come towards some one of these very toxic individuals, please don't put hands on anybody. I'm just, please don't. I'm just saying. Um, but none of this has happened yet is what I'm saying. She wants to break away. Third wheel wants to break away, but it's not going to happen because there's already so much shit. It sounds like these people have created in the universe to make them bind, uh, binded to each other, whether they want it to be or not, basically. And I'm just being for real. I heard the shit's about to hit the fan. They're, they better basically need to like it there, whether they like it there or not. Um, I don't know. I'm not these people, man. You plug it in how it resonates.
J A D M. J A D M is what I just heard. J A D M. So you plug it in how it resonates. J A D M. Uh, so initial J is in jack o' lantern. A as in apple. D as in dinosaur. And M as in mango. J A D M. That is what I heard very loud and very clear. So I think it could be initials. Of these people, these toxic ass people, or first, middle, last initial, or nickname initial, or initials of the Libra masculine lawyer about to reach out to them, or initials of the sister that's about to get terminated and about to come to them, or initials of their child or children that's about to have hostilities. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. J A D M or J A D M could be your initial, and you know these people. In some shape, form, or fashion. How about it resonates? J A D M. You plug it in, how it resonates. I love you guys. Namaste.